Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds where I forgot I have to level up. I don't have to, but I am going to level up. Um Dialogue Hmm. <laughs> Dang, that really is the leadership skill is very handy. I think there were some people saying like stuff that was good. Uh, and now I'm just like I don't I freaking I don't I don't know I don't know. Oh well, I'm almost up to that on lie scramble duration. I don't know what that does. Oh oh, the chance our mechanicals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you for ten seconds. Oh okay. The lie skill is using conversations as a chance to inflict scramble, slowly attack allies on an auto mechanical when attacking you. Okay. It's a chance to inflict terrify on nearby creatures when you kill. Terrify's area of effect has been increased. <laughs> I put a lot of points into this, but look, I'm almost. There we go. Unlock the location, hit a f hit fix. Oh, I already did that on. Oh, and I have it for two handed and one handed Malay. Um, tech. What do I have that is. Oh, <laughs> the Vicar and Parvati. Oh, Parvati's good at lock picking. <laughs> oh, and she's good at engineering. Wow. I mean, they really, my tech kid and Parvati really beefed it up. Ethical science. I do, I do want to do that. I do so desperately want to have my, my, my science stuff go up so I can start using plasma weapons better. And I'll put the rest into leadership. We'll get there eventually. I just at zero defense. I'm just gonna I just run it. You do you think as a as a meleeer I should probably have some defense? It's not mm-mm. 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 <laughs> just, just gotta hope and pray, I guess. Oh, dang it. Uh, uh, apply. The apply thing gets me every time. Wait, did I just... No. Uh, are we good? No. Apply it all. Yeah, okay. Do I want to continue? Yes. The heck? Perk. Nope. Perk. Oh, jeez. If I save up my perk points, does that mean I get a tier two? No, I have to get, I see now. Okay. It unlocks after this one. Uh, nope, not the lone wolf. Nope. 20% sprint speed. Oh, dang. The armor rating would be nice. Or that. I don't use it very much. No. Sure. Let's do that. Our body gets... Let's, we should probably increase her armor rating. Nice. 
apply apply I don't know why that's so difficult it's, it's acting really weird about it like it's not acknowledging Back. So these are circled potentially because they're like specific to him. Sure. Get that armor rating. I don't even really remember, but we're going in. Oh, hang on. Let me actually save before I do anything ultra stupid. Pew, pew, pew. I think this lady is not, not some... Wish we had bigger weapons, but no. Be careful about blowing holes in the hull. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You live on a spaceship. You ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? Yeah, but I'm here, and, and this, 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 she said I could go in. That's a bunch of stuff I don't care about. Oh, oh, never mind. Can't lockpick that. Is that where somebody... Is she in there? She wouldn't let me back here if... If this lady was back here, though. You know what I mean? Like, if it was this easy to just walk back here and find her. Hello? What is... Oh, wait. Bard. Ooh, that tells me something. Let me in. On time. Oh! Leave me in peace. Oh, she is here. Quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. That I'm doesn't just sound terrible. Dreadful. Sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Open the door before I kick it down. Er, she's worried about you a lot. Rimini, she really ain't gonna drop this, is she? All right, okay, we can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we All right, so it's not, I don't have I've to take them. something before choice. Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. You just need a break? That's fine, but um yeah, she is worried about you. I thought I I thought I have to take sometimes those those uh, those choices that like persuasion or intimidate or whatever because that uses my persuasion and I was like, "Oh no, are you actually injured?" The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. Okay, fair. You uh ain't with the board, are you? Do I look like I am with See, the board? I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. Mm -hmm. I do work for the board. Why would I lie about that? Um, what did you do that got you in trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Yet you think the board has someone follow you, and now you're hiding out. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. What, you're like, what, you're like right, an engineer? I'll set this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. Uh, uh -huh. I specialize in particularly high end and historically valuable items. So you're a looter. I'm going to leave you to die. Back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced <gasps> for the first time in 70 that's years. That's me! That's, well, that's not me, me, but that's where I was. I was on Hope. Uh, so you stole it. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it. Lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Oh, that's the Let's just say guy. things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond. And it crumbled to stardust in my palm. What? Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. On what? Uh, Ellie asked me to help you, so that's what I plan to do. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. Yeah. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Oh, that's right. They don't like each other. Uh, but Ellie, Ellie owes her something, so she feels obligated to come out here and be like, let her out. I'll talk to Udon. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. 
I've just... Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? <laughs> I can't believe they just let this, this woman in here to, to hide out. They're like, oh yeah, it's totally fine. Oh, this is terrible. Also, yeah, I mean, like, she's freaking... She's hiding out, and they're like, oh yeah, it's totally fine. And then also, like, if she's hiding out and they know it, why'd they just let me back there? <laughs> Hi, I'll let you know. Any word on Jesse? Uh, um... Quick interruption here, uh, so one of the reasons it's taking me so long to upload this video is because this recording in this section right here went absolutely bonkers and like just the audio was completely off and the video itself was hyper corrupted for like two minutes and like there was usually I can try to like piece stuff together, I just had to cut it all out, it's gone. But it's not a big deal because all I did was say, hey, I'm going to take care of this problem. And I do. And while well, I start walking towards the place and basically the, when the video gets back to normal ish after piecing it together is when we walk right into the guy who's going to like we walk into the office of the guy who's hopefully going to fix this for us. So I apologize for the delay and I apologize for the weird glitching. I have a new laptop coming in today, so I'm really, really hoping that I'll have less recording issues in the future, but we'll see anyway. I hope you all are enjoying this regardless, and uh, you didn't miss much, I promise. It's it's gonna pick up essentially right where it needs to for the plot, so we'll jump right back into there. I saw you fade in. Hey, wake up, are you still alive? How do you do? I thought you were oh. gonna die. How might I assist you? Because of, you know, something to do with the board. Uh, um, I hear about Jessie Doyle. I want her debt settled. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. What? You forced them to sell their... Ah! Uh, I, I'll pay it off for her. I'm not going to put her under an indenture contract. Kind and efficient. Can't say I disapprove. Although, seeing as this woman isn't a member of our crew, it'd be nice if the price weren't quite so high. I think you may have underestimated the size of Miss Doyle's debt. If you'll look over this itemized bill. Mm. Charging this much for emotional anguish? I actually don't know how many bits I have. Uh, sure, I mean, I'll try. I'm glad we could come to an accommodation. You may inform Miss Doyle that our collections agent will be recalled. Now. Is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? You can return to your work. I think I just paid 2,145 bits to get a companion. Do I want a thief on the crew? I don't know if I do or not, but this woman owes me the money now. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right, that's nice too. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Okay, that's fine. Tell if you want to come on the I'm crew, it's fine. I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. A doctor? If you're looking for a medic, I what? can work my debt off. What do you mean you work? Are you saying you work for me just because I helped Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to. I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which yeah, tells I did, me didn't I? you're competent. I try. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. What exactly did Jesse do for you anyway? She helped me win a bet. Oh, geez. What was the bet? We were on a smuggling run planet side when our point man bet me I couldn't outrun a mantisaur. Uh. And? And, as you can probably guess, the thing was faster than it looked. Probably would have caught me if Jesse hadn't picked it off. Why did you do it? Uh, if you're that stupid, you deserve to get caught? What? I don't you know. You don't appreciate my go-getter attitude? No, I don't. Moral it sounds is, reckless. Mantisaurs can't run when they're full of holes. Uh-huh. 
really don't like owing people, do you? It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one um, of those things that gets under my skin. What a, what a welcome You aboard. won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Meet me on the ship. Traveling in style, are we? I'll be sure to nab a cabin with a view. Dr. Fenhill, glad you opted to join us. It'll be good to have a Sawbones on the crew. I don't even know these people! It's like, I don't know, I didn't do it, like, I don't, I don't know. Gen at least in Mass Effect, I generally, like, worked with the people, like, a bit before, like, you work with Garrus a little bit before he adds on, before he comes under, I guess not, not a ton. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like you get to know people a little better uh, in that than you do in this, but maybe that's just me misremembering. Oh, is that how many bits I have? 7,619 up in the top right left. Top of the top left. Top of the morning. Do ya. Okay. The cleaning machine. Didn't I, didn't I look up that? I I did. Oh, oh, that's right. That, cause that's, okay. That's the cleaning machine I found in the, in the, yes. Okay. I remember. Mm -hmm. Take par -vady. Let's go. Let's go to the bar par -vady. What is in my hands? Oh my gosh. That thing is just dripping poison. I should not be carrying it like that. I look mesmerized by it. It's probably evil. All right. Quest. Drinking sapphire wine. If we go, we go south. And then we gotta go east. Is it through here? Lemon slap. Slap your mm. Oh, no. Nope. Uh, it was... Okay, I was like, oh, that seems a lot. No, okay, I'm yeah, I'll just ten years back. incapable of finding my way anywhere. It's fine, I don't mind. So, how's this work? We interrupt Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Stand in a corner. Uh, we, we, uh, we, 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 what? We signal? What, was, what, did it, what did it say I was supposed to do? Signal? What did it say? Oh, talk to Parvati in the bar. Oh, talk okay, let's, uh, let's just have a chat, I guess. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. I have oh, and never don't drunk worry in my life. Price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Uh, are you sure you want to do this? You seem nervous. Oh, no, that's just, that's on account of mine not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know. I've just been lying Love awake, is a thinking sucker. about what Jim Lay said, and uh, feeling my heart shake. Uh, you're not much of a drinker. Better start slow with the beer. Oh, beer. I guess. Yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. It's disgusting. Bottoms up. It's Welcome absolutely to disgusting. a favorite pastime of the common masses, Miss Holcomb. I myself don't imagine you'll care for the flavor. Ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? I have no idea why. Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. <laughs> the vicar's just back here. <laughs> the vicar's just like chilling here. I should have brought somebody else. Ah, oh, he's gonna be back here moralizing and being judgy. Oh, and besides, like, this, sh this should have been a girl's night out. I thought the vicar was gonna go away, but apparently not. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Uh, uh g generally or specifically? <laughs> specifically. Definitely. Definitely specifically. Oh, oh, why'd I drink that? I mean, <laughs> just with Junlei. I don't know what to do about us. 
Uh, beats me. I got a rough track record with relationships. Uh... You and me both, Captain. I'm just... She brought up another lady, you know? Isabel. Why would she do that? I have no idea. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah. Uh, I want to I want to say this, but this is probably going to give me the most in, in a, no one sends terrible, vaguely sensual poetry to someone they don't like. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd call it uh, sensual. That's It's a vague a lot. Vaguely sensual. Uh, your poem implied you calming her with a touch. That's romance serial grade stuff. I did. Oh dear, I hadn't really. Oh my goodness. And I told you? Well, what did you As think it said? As an avid reader and collector of rare poems, <gasps> I believe I ought to have a look at this specimen of literary self expression. You BS! BS! He just wants to read it. <laughs> he just wants to read it so he can laugh at it. Uh, what's she actually writing the message? You haven't said. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. We are awkward. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? So, uh, get, try to get favor with her dad, not to like, for, not like, like for like a sexual thing or like a relationship thing, but tried to get in good with her dad so that she could be in a relationship with June Lay, so that Isabel could be in a relationship with June Lay. I think is what this is saying. Uh, what's this really about? I mean, this is obviously about her insecurities that like this that June Lay brought up a whole other woman, you know. Like, the, I know what this is about, but I seem to be intentionally be playing dumb. What is this really about? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing she up my She actually throat. expresses things so well. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Uh... Let's get you some water. Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am. Okay, worried. good. I was like, uh. Hydration, here I come. Good call. It's best to proceed with a light hand. The yeah, first you don't want to be puking. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but. I'm so I, I totally get it. Oh my god. What about me now? What about what? <laughs> um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my Love head. Love is terrifying! Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we we get together and she gets bored of it? Well, that's a risk. I mean, it is, you know? There's an easy way to get answers to all those questions. Oh, there's nothing easy about... About spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart it's in their true, hands. It's true, it's really difficult. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. I know, I know. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later... That's she's just not. the risk we take, you know? I don't I don't know. Like it's the like it's terrifying and like I wish I had like something that was like, oh like it'll be fine, la dee da, but it's not a fairy tale. In real life, like people can genuinely be in love and then they can genuinely fall out of love. It happens and it hurts and it sucks, but like you get up and you keep going, you know? Like little baby steps at a time and you, sometimes you fall down and sometimes you go backwards, but you just you just keep going, you know? You can't you can't change somebody else. You know, you can't, I don't know, like, you can only, you can only control yourself to a reasonable degree and how you react to a situation, and sometimes things just happen that you have no control over, and you just gotta handle as best you can. Um, are you rejected for who you are? These are some serious, you can't control how people react to you, even people you care about, that's a good one, that's kind of what I just said. Uh, are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? Obviously. You can't control, control people react to you, even people you care about. I don't know if that's like, I don't know if that's like reassuring or not. I'll try. What do you mean, Captain? 
Wow. The only thing you control is you. Trying to manage others' feelings will drive you... The only thing you can control is you. Yeah. So if I'm doing my very best to be kind and open-hearted, I shouldn't worry how she thinks of me? Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... Ungenerous. We all do. Is that... <laughs> This game, I'm like, I'm like dialed in. We all do. Well, I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been, this has been a whole lot. I got just, wow, so much to think about. Are you going to ask her out? <laughs> oh, gosh, I, I don't know, Captain. Do you? Think I should? It's terrifying and it might hurt and it might end up that you just feel like you're like, you know, I don't know, it might feel like not worth it in the end, but always taking that, I don't know, taking that risk is never something to be ashamed of, you know what I mean? Like, as long as you do it in good faith and you're not like shoving your attentions on someone who doesn't want it, you know? Taking that leap for someone that you truly care about, even if in the end you just kind of fall flat on your face, it's always and admirable to take that risk. You know what I mean? Like, it's always... It's never something you should be ashamed of, even if it, if you end up falling on your face. At least you tried, you know? You're still not sure? Yeah, just ask her. All right, all right. There's no need to strip your screws See, over. she looks happy. Now go okay. sleep it off. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. I hope... I hope I'm not... Thanks for hearing me out. Sending her down a bad path. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Well, it's not like I could be elsewhere. Nor am I capable of neglecting a wayward lamb in need of guidance. Uh, you? Huh. All you right. two! Or you! Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on. We got our Let's ship. Go. We got our ship. Also, Vic, I, Vicar is the worst part. I should not have brought him. Wh what are you? I, I st oh, okay, you're just, your uniform. Hey there. What are you doing after work? What are they? I'm going to cut my toenails and leave them out for Grunty to eat. Wow, that's really, what the hell's Grunty? No one knows. Some kind of critter that lives in the ducks and pipes. Uh, people leave food by the vents for it. It's supposed to bring good luck. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually gonna throw up, maybe. Oh, jeez. Okay, nope, wrong button again. Journal. Okay, oh, okay, Parvati, let's, let's do this. We'll get back to the ship and get this resolved. I am hoping that I'm not just like... No one saw me trip over that, Oh, right? definitely didn't. I actually didn't. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. Uh oh, wait. Okay, good. Have either of the assault cruisers ever put into Groundbreaker? You kidding? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought for a second she said something else. Um, but. Whoop. I don't know what I was saying. Oh, I haven't. I hope I haven't let her down like a bad path that, like, that, like she is gonna try to ask out June Lei, and June Lei is gonna be like, "Oh, I'm not ready for a relationship" or something. It's not the vibe I was getting from her, but maybe, uh, maybe she second guessed it. You know, it's possible. It's entirely possible that she's like second guessed herself or her feelings or something. Uh, but I will have to break all her toes uh, and her fingers if she hurts my darling engineer. So. Okay. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? Oh, it's uh, Parvati. I think she's got plants. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out. Oh, me. good. I'm glad we didn't we didn't encourage her to like become a drunk. Um, glad to hear it. I wouldn't mind having a drink again. Someday. In the distant future. 
I think maybe anyway. better than beer. We'll get something better than beer. I messaged beer. June Lei when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the time. Oh, she's like, I don't know, it's really cute that she's reading this out to me. Uh... Were there any funny typos? Okay, not bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Julie does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way possible. <laughs> you too, Mary. You'll be saying, haha, just kidding, unless you're not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, the Isabel crisis was all a big misunderstanding? <laughs> yeah. I mean, in my defense, it's not like June was all too clear about what she was trying to say. She still she ain't. She probably isn't the best at it. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Yay! Oh my gosh, wait, why? These were not here when I walked in here to talk to Bravati, right? Why do we have... Is this why we have fertilizer? Wait, is the, is the poop fertilizer? If she said don't bring any more fertilizer on board, and what she actually meant was don't bring freaking cows who poop? Why are there cows? Why are there... Who's put the cows here? Oh my god, who did this? Ada? Ada, who put cows on my ship? I did not... I did not say this was okay. Welcome back, Captain. Why are there cows? How can I be of assistance? Why are there cows on the ship? Ah, never mind. Soon, oh my gosh. Anybody, anybody, can anybody tell me why there's cows on the ship? This is my room, which I do need to read the thing. I need to read my my terminal. Why are there cows? Oh, this is his room. This is uh F Felix. Or oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's her room. Um, Ellie. Maybe it's Ellie's room. Oh, it is. <laughs> It is Felix's room. Yo, what up? Did you bring cows on my ship? This Roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. And whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. Okay. Do we know anything about who sent the call? What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. Uh, why wouldn't they just call for corporate reinforcements? With a lot of these companies, the thrashing you take from your boss is worse than whatever a bunch of marauders will do to you. That sounds unrealistic. Doesn't exactly encourage calling for aid when there's a fuck-up. Uh, could be a trap. I'm counting All on right, it. she's coming with me, then. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. All right, she us. definitely seems like the most capable person so far on my crew. It's distressed. Ha, <laughs> bullet leather. <laughs> What's this? Ooh, a saber. What doesn't kill you gives you tet tetanus. I always want to say that wrong. What doesn't kill you gives Why do you have a saber? Okay, so I need one more person, I think. Yeah, because that's a vicar. Yep, yep, yep. And we got, and then we got this guy who's going to be our old mech friend. Felix, did you put cows in my house? Good to see you, boss. Did you put cows in my house? Oh my gosh, you put cows in my house. Anyway, I should probably call this episode here, but why are there cows in my house? <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, had, I think basically all we did this time was help Parvati out, but now I should probably try to figure out the vicar's whole thing. I don't know. I gotta go into some area that's... Um... Uh, finding, I don't even know where I would find a Mardad ID cartridge. Do I have a Mardad ID cartridge? I would think if I did, it would pop up and say, you have one now. 
I guess I can look. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one.